the mass of the sun in order to power the energy that we see from 2006 GY. So this type, this different type of explosion mechanism is called a pair instability supernova. In, in this supernova, in 2006 GY, we think we need to appeal to a different type, an entirely different type of explosion, where instead of the core of the star collapsing, the core of the star is completely obliterated. It just blasts away all of its material out into space. And so all of these heavy elements, these radioactive elements, go spewing out to large distances uh, where they can then heat the material and then glow, and we can see that we can see the fabulous display that it puts on. And when we observed with Chandra, we did, in feed, we did indeed detect x-rays from the supernova. Can we see the Chandra image? There's a Chandra image uh, of the field. The supernova is the object in the upper right-hand corner. And so as you can see, Chandra uh, does indeed detect the supernova. But uh, the x-ray flux is about a thousand times fainter than expected in the scenario in which the white dwarf explodes in this dense environment. And so we can rule out that hypothesis, and we're left concluding that this was indeed the death of an extremely massive star, and that the mechanism for the explosion was unlike anything we've ever seen. Nathan, Dave, now to give us the universal perspective on this, I'd like to turn to Dr. Mario Olivio. So let me first tell you. Yeah, there are a lot of different things we can do to continue to, I mean, we can continue to.